Welcome to Whiskey Business with Butch and Bull. <laughs> Welcome to Risky Business with Butch and Bull. What did we come in to do today, Blake? Come to do some grass work and uh, butch luck. Absolutely ridiculous. I walked out to the covering back there to get the tractor and it just started pouring rain. We're gonna wait it out though, it's a small, a small rain. That one there is just thriving with all this water. It's in the bow. It's been the die. It's been the die. <laughs> All right, the rain let up. Here we go. Grass all cut, everything weed whipped, whacked, whatever you want to call it. I'm fixing to get out of here. Butch left uh, a few hours ago. I got the whole farm mowed, the range. Butch uh, weed weed eated the uh, the range and around the front of the building here. He took off for a barbecue. I'm gonna go home and uh, barbecue myself with Melissa and Declan. I'm off, I'm out of here, deuces. You just saw we got the farm all cleaned up and finally got kind of a sunny day. Um, so I got my yard done. I think the next step for me is uh, I'm gonna have to dig all this out right here. It just keeps uh, keeps piling on dirt and rock and everything as it flows down here through that pipe. And then it really can't go anywhere. So I'm gonna have to dig that out. I'm gonna have to dig this one out because the water just doesn't have anywhere to go anymore. It's just built up over time. The village won't do anything about it. I'm just gonna go get a mini excavator and I'm gonna dig that out. Take the bill to the county when I go fight my taxes and be like, this is uh, your problem, you have to pay for it. Okay, so that logo, right? Yeah. But let's switch it to a black background, white writing. Okay. Me and Chase are working on, uh, working on these flag orders. So I think what we're going with, we're going with a small amount. So if, when they come out, you're gonna have to snatch them up. We're gonna do 75 uh, total flags. This is how a lot of our uh, our days go between me and Chase, either designing merch or talking about thumbnails. So we're always trying to figure out titles, find a picture that will look good for whatever we filmed that week, all that stuff, or working on the working on the merch like this. Heck yeah! Do something like that. Yep, that works. I right, got some work in the neighborhood today since we're fixing to. Hit the road pretty hard here in the next few weeks. Trying to get caught up on projects I committed to, to the people here in the neighborhood. I'm gonna go cut down some bushes today and probably clean some gutters. Let's do it. Now I gotta figure out what to do with it. <laughs> Not the uh, 
coolest day of the year for sure. I got all the bushes out and another tree she wanted down. And I kind of bundled it up. Hopefully the trash guy is going to take it. I went on their website, it says that if you bundle it with string, they'll take it. So that's what I did. Just had to be under uh, four foot length. So that's it. My toilet's leaking. <laughs> the valve for the toilet is leaking. Something that wasn't supposed to be put in the toilets must have went down. So I'm gonna take care of that too while I'm here today. And I'm getting Freedom's, uh, we have Freedom back here right now. So I'm gonna take, get Freedom completely ready to lease out. And then Butch is gonna take it back to San Antonio. We're gonna park it there. They're gonna do one more thing to it, replace some uh, A-arms or some steering components and then it's ready to be leased out and I'm just gonna leave it down in San Antonio so when somebody leases it out you know and we're already on the road it'll be down there where Ron's at Ron can start it make sure it's good to go and uh, hand it off to a driver that I uh, pre-approve and my AC in the bunks is only blowing on low which is bad <laughs> when the guys had closed their curtains at night like this instead of being open don't get much airflow, so I'm gonna go up there and bang them with a hammer or something. All right, toilet leak is fixed. This is one of the nastiest things somebody has to do. It's uh, pretty gross, but somebody's got to do it, right? Here's here's the issue I had with the uh, uh, the dump valve. This right here, you know when I. There's a switch inside as well, but this switch right here, you can make this open and close this valve right here. Which that stops all the, the pee and the uh, water and everything from coming out, going down the road. What happened was there was some just build up inside there where the, it's like a knife blade in there and it locks down in place. There was some gunk, I think, stopping it from completely sealing. So I cleaned it all out and put it all back together. Actually, I'm glad I just opened this up to show you all because I forgot to put the lid or the cap back on. That's this here is where we can, uh, you know, add fresh water to it or something to rinse it out. So that's what I was doing. I was running water through it just so it wasn't all gross, all gross water. We always think we've got it figured out. Things are fixed. Everything's ready to roll. We get and then we come in shortly before we're ready to roll. And there's things like a leaky toilet valve or a leaky dump valve, or they need more bunks made, whatever the case may be, because we have guests, radio shows, different people on the bus, different setup in my trailer. But we get it done, right? You guys see how hard we work at this. And man, it is muggy. I wish it would just stop already. I don't know what happened, but it's like we moved to Houston. We have a couple radio shows that we are doing aside from both buses. So it's just me, Granger, Tyler, Blake, Matt, Chris, and Todd, and our radio rep. It is 97 degrees, so I got the bus cooling down. Granger's fin wrapping up a podcast right now. Houston, a casino in Tulsa, and then back home for a day, then we do New Braunfels. Then we got a couple days off, then we take off for two weeks. Well, if it isn't sleeveless in Seattle. <laughs> sleeveless in Seattle. <laughs> like that. Well, you're just a few minutes late, too, so. Uh, supposed to leave it, supposed to leave at noon. Uh, isn't that crazy? It is crazy. <laughs> it is, it's, it's, you should have been here about. Talk what I always do. Oh. Houston uh, is the problem, not you. Oh yeah. Houston, Houston is the problem. We have a problem and it's you, it's not me. Here's something I always try to do, Todd, and it doesn't take a yeah. whole lot of effort, is if I have to be somewhere for an appointment, especially when other people are waiting on me, I try to get there like sure. 20 minutes early. Yeah, Generally, yeah. you know, I always say, and I tell my wife the same thing, you don't have to get there at that exact time. You know, yeah. you can worry later. You can get there is there, early. Uh, is this like a school road? How do you learn things like this? You know, it's just a life lesson. And you've been around 40 years, you're still learning.
we made it to, uh, I guess it's called Carbach, Carbach Brewery in Houston. And my generator's running a little hot. Generator number one, so I'm gonna fire up generator number two and leave it open. Because it, does, it gets a lot better airflow if I leave these bay, the bay open. So I'm gonna leave that one run tonight. Give this number one a break. It's 100 degrees out. It's tough on these things. All right, air's still blowing cold. I normally would shut off the roof air when I switch generators. But I'm having trouble with the bunk ones that if they get shut off, they might not turn back on. So I've got it right now where they're working. It's blowing high, high cold air. And I've got that on there. No, no, no. All right, leaving the hotel in Houston. Uh, so I got about three hours sleep. Uh, I got an Uber coming, scheduled an Uber. I think my Uber will notice my uh, You know, Uber's got a policy that you can't have guns. <laughs> guns are scary. Wear a face mask. No, sorry. I'm in Houston in the middle of the night. I'm not wearing a mask. I'm carrying my gun. And we're in Tulsa. It's called River Spirit Casino. And it is uh, pretty awesome, actually. I'm in my hotel room. I'm gonna go do a little bit of gambling, but I've got another long drive home tonight. So I'm gonna go down there, get something to eat, gamble for a little bit, and then uh, head to the bed. Uneventful trip so far. Yeah, solid, man. It's been good. It's uh, 9 p.m. in Tulsa, getting ready to head home. Uh, Granger has, he's doing uh, some speaking at a men's breakfast in the morning, so we gotta hurry up and get back. He's gotta leave the farm by 6.30, we should be fine, it's nine o'clock. We'll probably be out of here by 10, that'll get us there by about 5.30. So, I figured I'd look to see what the weather was looking like. Looking good. Shouldn't have any delays in weather. Did you win some big cash? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I want a uh, want a free steak and a room. <laughs> right. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. That's a good win. If I'd been at home tonight, I would have won maybe some griping for my wife and some screaming kids. <laughs> so this is better. It's been a good day. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got lost trying to find the bus coming back because trying to walk it from over here. Yeah, I was all turned around and had no idea where the hell I was at. Took a little while to get here from inside the casino, but we are, are rolled up the shore power cord, got the generator going, bus is running. Do my checks. Bus is still running good, no leaks. Nothing laying on the ground anyhow. I oh, see Matt's still packing up stuff. We'll see you at the farm.
turd. I've just had it with this turd. This engine light just means there's an EGR valve, a dozer valve, uh, something. It's always some California bullshit emissions garbage that causes problems with the bus. So here we here we go again. I'm gonna get back and instead of being able to go home, I figure out the code and figure out what the problem is and try to fix it. Because we don't have time to, be, to take it down to San Antonio because we have a, whatever, two week tour coming up. Well, just as I suspected, Generating. Granger has to be home by 6.30 and this thing's going to shut me down and I'm going to have to do a force regen and figure out why. I don't know what to do about these things. I'm, I'm, out, of, I'm out of words for these buses. I'm just, I, I, doesn't matter what we do, doesn't matter, just doesn't matter. Very disappointing. All right, so I stopped at a uh, truck stop. Uh, after the lights started blinking, forced it into regen. It's regenerating right now. That's why it's at whatever, 1600 RPMs. Uh, once that's done, I think I've shown you on the video before the light goes off, um, but that just means I've got an EGR problem. So when I get parked today, I think I'm going to change my EGR valve because I have one saved from the last time I needed to replace one, I bought two. After driving from Tulsa to home, I get to uh, work on the bus all day. Well, good thing I'm a pack rat and I buy extra stuff and hold on to it for life because I have a brand new EGR valve here. It's still regenning now, I just filled the uh, fuel and found this inside the bay. So as soon as this is done regenning, I can get back. I still think I can get back in time for Granger to leave. Then it's off to work I go. Got the new EGR valve in. Everything seems good. Seems to not be leaking. There's the old one right there. Now I gotta order another one because I gotta keep one with us at all times because of this. I just happened to be coming back to the farm when it broke instead of to another show. So I gotta get one sent here so I have one out on the road. Show you the new one attached. So there it is right there. It's basically that bottom line, uh, a fuel line in the back three bolts, four wires, and getting it off and back on is a little tricky. It's not in the worst spot in the world, but it's complete. That's it for this episode of Risky Business. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Everything you need to know about this channel is linked in the description below. You can also find us on Cameo, Rumble, what else we got? Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. The whole nine. <laughs> Absolutely. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time. Exercise your rights. Deuces. Deuces.